What's up guys, and we're back with a part two with the i20 timing chain, the one that is slack. So, obviously we've got the rocket cover off already. The next step we're gonna do is take the vehicle up in the air, getting the end of trays off, and the driver's side front wheel. So once you've got those off, the next step is to remove the auxiliary belt. Now this is a stretch belt, and we're gonna be replacing it anyway, due to the damage. So we're just gonna cut this off. Always recommend to replace them once they've been off. Get that done. So that's about off. We've also took off the wall pump pulley because we need to remove the wall pump in the process. As you can see here, there's this little notch, and that is our timing mark for the crank. So we're going to use that up top to reference with the crank case markings up here. So we're going to drop the vehicle down, get some coolant drain out of it, and then remove that wall pump. So we've got our wall pump out, and then we've got our timing mark on the which is the top dead center, just down in there. Kind of high, I think, but it is on there. So what we're going to do now is get that crank bolt out. What we've done, we've got a jack underneath the engine, a block of wood underneath, and we've removed the engine mount. We've removed the whole engine mount just to give this a bit more room. So we're going to lower the engine down slightly and we're going to remove this crank bolt. Once the crank bolt is out, take the pulley and then we can start removing this whole timing cover. And while that's off, we can start by removing all the 10s and the 12s, etc. off the timing cover. We do have to undo the alternator bracket. These 14s here, and we've got a couple of 10 mils all the way around. Just before you remove the pulley, once you've got the bar out, make sure you turn that pulley by hand back to the TDC mark, and then pop your pulley off. Obviously we can adjust it once we've got it all off, but it just saves you time if you do it correct the first way. So let's start getting all these bolts out. Now, I don't know if it was me, or just the car being 13 years old. But as you can see, we've got a snap, a snap, and a snap. Obviously on these bolts, the brackets where you bolt the wall pump on. When removing the water pump, they just got very brittle, snapped off. We are gonna open up to it, but admit our defeat, and we are gonna replace that for the customer free of charge. But, you know, no telling if it was me or the water pump was just old, but we've got all our bolts out now. So, what we do next is we just start gently prying this timing cover off. If we haven't done one of these. Mm. Just behind there, which you can have to see by eye. So just get that removed now. So the customer got lucky with all his attention of letting go. It was close to, but as you can see here, this guide is actually sheared. So this guide's lost all its plastic and it's just been flapping about. Well, hopefully we can save this engine. We're just going to take the timing chain off and double check it. So we need to push the tensioner back in, put pin in. So this is going to be a hit or miss for the customer. So we've got the two cam top lines timed up and then two lines here. The timing mark on the chain doesn't line up with the crankshaft. So what we've done is we've put spark plug number one out, ensured it's at the top dead center and put the chain on. So our best bet now is to release the tension and to turn it over to see if it's all good. So we've spun it over, two timer marks back on, cranks back in the same place. You see the colored marks on the chain never line back up just to help you fit it correctly so it seems okay it turns over all right so obviously we've got our block all cleaned up we just got to get the timing cover cleaned up and get the gasket on it put it back together so we've got our timing cover back on and our pulley 
two lines are connected and on our crank down there we have the timer mark which is set on PVC so we might actually get lucky with this one obviously the water pump isn't coming tomorrow now which we'll replace them after it broke but we are going to put it back together and just turn it over to the key to make sure it does run so let's get it back together guys so we've got it all back together so we haven't got a walk auxiliary belt on because there's no water pump so we're going to restart it for a brief moment i was about just going to start discharging and i'm going to start chucking coolant everywhere but we're going to start it anyway just to ensure that it is running so we're just going to turn the key Iron okay so abs csp Revving all right. Let's just have a quick look in the engine. The light is running quite smooth. I'm still gonna shut it off. 